Welcome to the intriguing world of underwater metal detecting. Buried beneath the world's oceans, rivers, and beaches lies a wealth of lost, hidden, and stolen treasures waiting to be discovered. Whether you're a deep sea treasure hunter, a beach loving coin shooter, or a search and recovery officer, the Sea Hunter Mark II can help you locate metal items that no other submersible detector can. Its advanced PI electronics, user friendly features, multi stem arrangements, and durable design make it highly versatile and reliable. What really sets the Sea Hunter Mark II apart from other submersible detectors is its special discrete trash elimination search mode, an exclusive Garrett feature that enables you to hunt deeper and detect targets more quickly while avoiding salt and most ground minerals. This video is designed as a supplement to the Sea Hunter Mark II Owner's Manual. After watching the video, you should be more than ready to begin your hunting adventure. What's more, you'll have gained a better appreciation for why the Garrett Sea Hunter Mark II is the foremost choice of divers and hobby detectorists around the world. Your Sea Hunter Mark II comes complete with a 9-inch search coil, headphones submersible to 200 feet, and a convertible handle stem assembly. The housing can be mounted above or below the stem. The Sea Hunter also comes with its own holster and belt, so you can carry the control housing on your waist or forearm instead of mounting it on the stem, as is often required with many conventional detectors. When diving, make sure the strap doesn't interfere with the rest of your equipment, such as scuba gear or weight belts. The search coil can be mounted on the long stem configuration, often preferred for land and shallow water searches, and on the short stem configuration, scuba mate for underwater searches, particularly those that involve diving. Whether you're a seasoned diver or a novice detectorist, assembling the Sea Hunter couldn't be easier. Assemble the stem and attach the control housing according to the configuration you've chosen. In this case, the scuba mate. And hand tighten. Next, attach the search coil to the lower stem by hand. Do not use tools. Then, Wrap the cable snugly around the stem. For a hip mount configuration, make sure you secure the cable to the upper stem using the adjustable strap provided. Finally, make sure the search coil connector behind the control housing is clean. Gently insert and hand tighten the coil connector. Repeat this procedure when attaching the headphones. It's always a good idea to test the batteries before you start hunting. A battery test occurs automatically each time you turn on the detector. Three or more audible beeps mean that the batteries are in very good condition. Two beeps mean they're in adequate condition and a single beep means they need replacing. To replace them, Unscrew the battery cap by hand. Let the battery pack slide out. Install the batteries securely, making sure they're aligned properly. Reinstall the battery pack by placing the contact end of the housing inside first. Make sure the O-ring is clean and well lubricated. Reattach the battery cap, hand tightening it until it is flush with the housing and aligned with the index mark as shown. Should you have any battery or operational problems, double check that the battery pack and batteries are aligned properly. Now you're ready to set up the Sea Hunter to detect only the items you're looking for. First, switch on the power. Next, adjust the audio threshold so that it's barely audible. 
Now you're ready to choose a search mode. Standard trash elimination or discrete trash elimination. Standard mode discriminates between targets in a way similar to conventional non-motion type detectors, while discrete mode provides a more enhanced form of target elimination. Choosing the appropriate search mode depends on the kind of treasure you're looking for, the type of surface you're scanning, and how trashy your search area is. Standard trash elimination mode is generally used to detect and pinpoint very deep targets in areas with little trash. In standard mode, small or deep targets typically produce faint, weak audio signals. while large or shallow targets produce loud, strong signals. The elimination knob allows you to set the detector to ignore unwanted items. Generally, you'll find that as you increase the elimination level, fewer metal items are detected. This is especially true for trashy, poor conductors, such as foil, nickel, and pull tabs, whose detection signals decline significantly more compared to that of good conductors, such as coins and fine jewelry. Good conductors continue to produce relatively strong but somewhat diminished signals. As a general rule, it is preferable to dial in as little elimination as possible so that you can still detect metal items such as rings and other gold items.